Hey guys, I'm playing 5 5 10 today at the gardens, so hit that intro. Cheers. With the guy Branson, who has the Branson poker logs. <laughs> no! Let's go, let's go. Tell him he's got a lot of class, and it's all low. I buy in for $800 at the 5 5 10, and the first hand I pick up is 10 Jack of Spades. I'm under the gun, but this is a very nice hand. I make it $35. The button and small blind call, and we're three ways to a flop of Jack 8 8. Not bad. Small blind checks on paired boards. If I bet, I typically bet with a small sizing. I choose $30. Only the button calls, heads up to a turn, which comes a deuce. This card shouldn't really change anything for me or him. My hand's decent, but. I don't think worse hands will call a bet on the turn and river, so I check for pot control, maybe a little deception, and he bets $75. I don't love it. He could definitely have an 8 or a better jack, but it's still a bit too early to fold. I call, and the river comes a 3. I check, hoping he checks back, but he does not. He bets $150. Again, I don't like it, but... It's only $150 to win a pot of over 600, meaning I only have to win a quarter of the time for it to be a profitable call. So I'm hoping he is 910 or some other bluff. I call, he says, ace high. <laughs> yes, let's go. I flip over my cards and I take it down. Well, it must be fate because the very next hand I pick up 10 jack suited again, this time diamonds. The hijack opens to $35, the small blind three bets to 100, and I'm sitting here with a pretty decent hand in the straddle. Now, against most players, this is just a fold. People as a tendency don't three bet very often, so it's best to just get out of their way when they do. However, this player is a poker gladiator. He came in with full armor, the headphones, the sunglasses, the backpack, you know, the whole I play poker for a living starter kit. Anyway, this guy should be three betting wider from the small blind, so I decide to join the battle. Still, it is a questionable call, but it's what I did. Hijack calls two and we're three ways to a flop of eight, nine, ten. Now, this is quite a flop for my hand and even more interesting the small blind checks all right i'm gonna bet with my top pair straight draw backdoor flush draw i make it 125 the hijack calls the 125 but then the small blind goes all in for 695 dollars so this is never a bluff I know he has either an overpair or a set but i also know something he doesn't know this is my vlog, my show, my time to win. I go all in for $1,000. Hijack folds, here we go. One time dealer, turn, four, river, six. He shows pocket eight, so oh, no. Fatality. Well, that didn't work out, but fear not, because the very next hand, I get ace, five of hearts in the big blind. Literally three hands in a row, all playable cards. Since I just lost that hand, I don't have a full stack, but I was able to take out a $100 chip from my pocket before I was dealt my cards. So here we are. I'm working with a little more than $400. Hijack limps, cutoff limps. I raise it up. I make it $65. And nobody cares. Straddle calls, hijack calls, cutoff calls were four ways to a flop of jack, queen, four, two hearts. All right. I have the nut flush draw. I'm going to bet, but I debate on my sizing. I'm between an all-in, since I'm short-stacked anyway, or a more normal size bet, and I go with the latter, $125. Straddle folds, hijack folds, but the cutoff puts me all-in for my remaining $370. Bucks. Look, I'm not thrilled, but I'm never folding the nut flush draw here. I make the call, turn four, river jack, no hearts. My opponent shows queen deuce of hearts. Really? <laughs> Calling my $65 raise preflop with queen deuce? Oh well, time to rebuy. After that, I'm able to win a couple of standard pots like this one with king jack of diamonds where I open, flop a king, bet the flop, bet the turn, and take it down. But moving on to the next interesting spot, I get ace queen of spades in the hijack. I open a $35 and get called by the small blind and the big blind. Three ways to a flop of king, jack, three, two spades. My opponents both check to me, and this is a pretty nice flop, holding both a flush draw and a straight draw. I bet $40, and only the big blind calls. Turn is the four of spades. Oof. It feels so good to just get there right on the turn, and even better when my opponent leads out for $225. 
Now I'm super torn. Part of me wants to jam now and get it in with weaker flushes, maybe a set, maybe two pair, but this guy has been making a lot of aggressive moves. So if he's bluffing, I want to give him a chance to continue bluffing on the river. Okay, I just call and the river is a board pairing three. Not my favorite card, as there are some full houses now. This was the guy who called $65 with Queen Deuce, so he could definitely have King 3, Jack 3, 3, 4, pretty, pretty much anything. He bets $410, leaving himself only about $140 behind. If he was deeper, I might just call, but not in this situation. I go all in and he folds, which tells me he had absolutely nothing, and it was the right move to just call the turn. All right, let's build some momentum. I pick up pocket sevens in the hijack. I open to $35, the button calls. Then the big blind goes all in for 180. It's on me. I think this guy could be shoving a wide range of hands given the fact he only has 18 big blinds. I call, button folds. The board runs out 10, 3, 10, jack, jack. My opponent shows pocket jacks for quads. So I'm definitely going to be taking the L on this one. Then I get ace queen in the cutoff. All right, let's go. I open to $35 and again, a short stack shoves on me. The button goes all in for 150. It folds back to me. It's a clear call and we're off to a run out of 10. Jack deuce, turn nine, river eight. I have a straight, but my opponent shows six, eight offsuit for the flush. And, uh... Yeah, uh, we lose another one. And to make matters worse, I go completely card dead or flop dead, combination of the both, and bleed like 500 more dollars. And at this point, my friend invites me to the bounty game. Bounty game. It's just like the other 5510, but if you win two hands in a row, everyone at the table owes you $25. So it is crazy. Anyways, I bring over 800 and about 20 minutes in, I pick up pocket jacks in the small blind. There's a $20 straddle, the low jack opens to $80, I have a premium, I 3-bet to 305, and it's back to the low jack. He puts me all in for 735 total. I have to make the call. I don't love it, but we decide to run it twice. Top board is 10-7-4, 4 ace. Bottom board, queen 8 ace, king 7. Low jack says he has pocket nines, which is a huge relief. These boards look pretty scary, but I show my cards and scoop the entire pot. In the bounty game, you can win some big pots, but you also bleed a lot of chips through bomb pots and bounties, so my stack dips a bit before picking up king-queen in the big blind. The low jack limps, the hijack who has the bounty limps, the cutoff raises to $50, the button calls the $50, and the action's on me. There's a lot of dead money I see with the limps with the button flat calling, so I decide to go aggressive. I 3-bet to $250. King-queen is a good hand to do this with since you block strong hands like kings, queens, ace-king, ace-queen. Anyway, everyone folds and I take it down. A bit later, I pick up king-queen of spades in the straddle. There are five limpers. I'm getting ready to squeeze, but then the big blind squeezes himself. He raises to $110. Now, I could call, but that would invite all the rest of these guys to call as well. So instead, I go for the three bet. I make it $320. Action folds all the way to the big blind. He makes the call, which ideally I would have liked for him to fold, but it's okay. We're heads up to a flop, which comes four, five, seven, two diamonds. He checks, I have nothing, but I could definitely have a lot of overpairs in my range, like kings, queens, jacks, aces. So I'm going to represent one, I bet $250. Unfortunately, he does not fold. He calls, and the turn is the queen of diamonds, very much improving my hand. He checks, and it's a toss-up. I could bet to try and get value out of a pocket pair, but I also could be walking straight into diamonds here, so I decide to check back, possibly getting ready to call a river bet. And the river is a six. My opponent does bet, but tiny $40, and I very briefly think about raising, but I don't think he's calling a raise with worse, so I just call. He shows pocket tens, and I scoop a pretty sizable pot. Unfortunately, I can't ever seem to win two hands in a row for the bounty. I always end up getting some trash hand like nine deuce right after I win one, but later I get ace jack of clubs on the button. 
The cutoff opens to $40, and here we go, another 3-bet spot. I make it $120, expecting to go heads up with the cutoff, but surprisingly, the big blind cold calls the bet, the straddle cold calls the bet, and the cutoff folds. So, three ways to a flop of king, four, five, two clubs. Both opponents check to me, and I go for a c-bet of $150. I expect my opponents to fold a lot of the time. Multi-way, I won't often be bluffing unless I have a lot of equity, which I do have with my nut flush draw. The big blind does fold, but the straddle calls and we're off to a turn, which comes a queen. He checks, and honestly, I had this weird feeling he had king-queen suited exactly. Cold calling my three-bet preflop, calling my flop bet even though we're multi-way, and even though I picked up equity, I don't want to be blown off my hand, so I just check back. The river comes another king, he checks, I don't think betting here makes sense after checking the turn, so I check back, and good thing I did, cause just like I thought he shows king queen for a full hat, N nope, scratch that, reverse it, he shows pocket sevens, and I feel like an idiot, so where did I go wrong? <laughs> I'm fine with all my decisions up until the turn where I really had myself convinced he had a king or a worse flush draw. I overlooked the fact he'd call my flop bet with pocket pairs. I probably should have barreled the turn, folding out pocket pairs now, and setting up for a big river bet if I hit my hand, but... Oh well, on to the next one. Six seven off, last hand of the vlog. It's a bomb pot, so we all go straight to the flop of ace four six. Action checks to me. I have middle pair, but it's not very good in a bomb pot. I check, and action checks through. Turn is a queen. Action checks to me again. I check, and it gets all the way to the button, who bets $25. The middle position calls, and listen, my hand is not good, but it's like $25, an eighth of the pot. Why not? Maybe I can hit two pair or trips, but the river is a 10, not good for me. Middle position checks, I check, and the button bets $75. Middle position player folds, I have fourth pair, but what is the button even saying he has? He's definitely not saying he's strong with his $25 bet on the turn, and if he's not strong, wouldn't he just check back the river? Maybe he has a missed flesh draw? There are two of them! Ah, I'm curious, I call. Fortunately for me, he mucks his cards, I win, and I'm able to book a win on the night. Hi guys. Um, so, I don't really know how I feel. I don't feel like I played amazing. I was in for 1800 out for 2207 for a profit of 407 so I mean it's nice to book a win but uh, I think the ace jack of clubs hand I misplayed I just got in my head um, for a number of reasons and uh, I don't know just some other hands I think maybe I didn't play the best but I don't know it's still okay to book a win but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.